having some bad guys trying to stop our broadcast today, but the <clears throat> devil is a liar. And I thank you for your patience and prayers and support. We're getting this either live to you or tape delay, but we are getting the living word of God out from Proverbs 10 today, as I promised, my wife promised, and most important, God promised. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your time this day. We thank you for you pouring the new mercies of this day upon us. We thank you for your love, your support, your time as you move and pour new mercies upon us today and bringing us this joy in the morning. If we live in a part of the world where our day is just ending, we ask you to make this a strong evening of Friday night, of fellowship, of strength, of prayer, of time. In the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we love thee. Brothers and sisters, we... <clears throat> Go forward with the matchless name of Jesus, with everything, everything that that is accounted for, everything that is moved upon. Let's get right into it. Uh, verse 11 through 22 is part two of Proverbs 10. And uh, once again, good morning. I'm Brian Tewitt of Anita and the Man. And Anita, and my wife, we thank you for joining us and we want to know you, so do contact us. Add our contact link and uh, under BrianTewitt.com, send us an email, <clears throat> send us your send us your loving uh, uh, questions, and we, we invite you to travel with us to our crusades. We are a a 501c3 ministry here, church here in the United States. We go into the unchurched, whether the countries of Kenya, Nigeria, Cape Town, South Africa, Tanzania. We're, we're going to visit some friends of ours up in England. Upper Great Lakes, sorry, the United States, uh, the Michigan area, Australia, 2013, northern and southern India, and our work continues here in Los Angeles, California. And again, old times that we do our broadcast on Pacific Center time, and so blessings to you. Verse 11, the mouth of the just is a fountain of life, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. Hatred stirs up disputes, but love conquers all offenses. So, we move into the mouth of the just is a fountain of life. We have the justification by, by the Lord Jesus Christ. We do have his mercies, but he puts in front of us the cup, the cup of wisdom to drink and to live and to digest in remembrance of Christ. As Christ said, at the Last Supper, eat this, drink this, and re in remembrance of Him. We express and we take all the wisdom that we want in remembrance of Christ and live our life very just and to, and to store up the blessings of all wisdom that comes upon us. To store that up and to share it. Not just keep your words. Because let's look at, it, look at it this way. If you are a container, you are a walking two-legged container, and your words are stored up in that container, and, I, and you are not a witness of the Lord Jesus Christ, then you are not planting your own harvest. The harvest still continues without you, without you. But you have to burst that container by the pouring out the living word of God and bringing into that new, new life, that new resource. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Matthew 5, 5. Meekness is one of the most confused adjectives in all the Beatitudes. Because most people confuse meekness with weakness. Jesus said he was meek and lowly, but he wasn't weak. That's from Matthew eleven twenty nine. The word meek means strength that is brought under control. Strength that is brought under control. In the same way God doesn't come into your life to cripple you. Why would he follow with, for they shall inherit the earth? God did not make this world for the devil's crowd. He made this world for you. Ask your Heavenly Father today to break the stronghold in your life and to break your will and to replace it with a strength under discipline. He will do it if you give him permission. This is the heart of true meekness. This is the heart expressed through wisdom. And we get all of these gifts put 
into us and out of us from Jesus Christ, the Galatians 5.22, the, the nine fruits of the Spirit. God is blessing you and guiding you with the first gift of love, peace, peace of mind, peace of heart. And God has given you that stony into the, the circumcision of a new heart, removing all the, the previous edges of the stony heart and coming into your life, your love, and bringing you into all that is coming forward <clears throat> in today's worth, in today's excellence growth. In today's studies, there is many oppositions that do try to distract us. Many oppositions that, as again, as verse 12 said, hatred stirs up disputes. Dispute. But with this first gift that I just said, love, love covers all offenses. Love also brings you to the giftings and to the, the daily practice and lifting up of repentance. Repentance. And have faith in God as God as Mark eleven twenty two says and says and says to you. Then twenty three through twenty six focus on that piece of scripture, Mark eleven twenty two verse twenty six. That is your personal prayer time with God. Going one on one with God. The wise on, on the lips of the intelligent is found wisdom. But the rod but a rod for the back for one without sense. So at one time of our life we lacked a lot of common sense. We were deep in sin. We were deep in forgetfulness of what we, what our actions were. God needs you to be a peacemaker and change maker in today's world. And Anita and the man, we knew, we do need your help in what we're doing as well. So when within our ranks of ministry, within our calling, we incorporate quite a few people. Just in Africa alone, we have over 200 ministry partners. That is growing, that is changing. <clears throat> in other countries from Pakistan to, to educating and supporting ministries within the Gypsy Nation, going into Cape Town, South Africa, Tanzania, <clears throat> Madagascar, Australia, Nigeria, England, France, Europe, and to Canada and into all, all travels within the, within the United States. God has not given you wisdom to store up in your container. He wants you to burst forth that container, have it smacked open with wisdom, and <clears throat> sharing the love of the Lord, and now being a witness to those that need to be a witness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, you have given us the great character of your wealth, as expressed Fourteen and fifteen. The wise store up knowledge, but the mouth of a fool is eminent ruin. The wealth of the rich is their strong city. The ruin of the poor is their poverty. So, to those have, that that have been having Jesus once again knocking at your door, and this time bringing to you the calling of your ministry, the calling of your true love, and the calling of your everlasting truth. The God's, excuse me, the everlasting truth brings to us an overpouring of wisdom. God's knowledge, God's embrace, God's time. With your love, your eternity that God is guiding you with, comes a great deal of responsibility. And part of that responsibility, and all of that responsibility, is spreading forth the living word of God. And remember, brethren, it's just a simple gesture, a simple time that will come into changing someone's life. A simple word, a simple moment, your presence. Because people, though our kin will know each other. And someone could just easily point out, hey, look at that man. He once was like this, now he's... Right. The presence of the Lord radiates from you. Anita and the man have just saved people just by being our presence without having to articulate one word. And you have that expression of the majesty of all the giftings of God. 
you have that expression coming uh, coming for, forward we have to thirst we have to hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled Matthew 5 6 Jesus is telling us when we think after righteousness we will be filled when we seek after righteousness we shall be filled sounds like we're pretty happy but happiness is not something we find by hungering for it it is something we, we receive by the ser by serving the Lord one doesn't want us to be happy without Christ God allows us to experience the unhappiness in our lives in the same way we experience pain when we, when we step on a nail the pain tells us something is wrong now for us to seek happiness without seeking righteousness would be like like breaking our arm and then t taking a painkiller and, and get, then getting it set blessing comes when we find the deliverer when you hunger for him you will have him how much of God do you want today so let's get to the art to the lifestyle of prayer fasting repenting receiving the new mercies every day the new day that comes upon us is your new joy in the morning we may have tears this evening we may have tears of confusion but God's love God's love brings you to the everlasting truth and that truth brings us to where we are today to where we are at this moment God brings us to his everlasting expression of God's love that is being redeemed to come forward in the name of Jesus to come forward in the matchless name of Jesus for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved it's from Romans 10 13 so if some of us are recently recently been redeemed or just received Christ in our life let's bring someone to this broadcast maybe later on today click on the link under you stream or YouTube and really be a witness to this person and get yourself into a Bible believing church get into midweek Bible studies Sunday fellowships Sunday services for small group Bible studies with your neighbors with your friends at work after work during work all of the above God's love has no boundaries man created boundaries God gives you the power of his majesty which is limitless love limitless wisdom come into this expression now brethren come into this lifestyle so all of us are working hard <clears throat> making money let's move into the wealth of God the prosperity of the plans and the provisions that God has laid out before us and I guarantee my guarantee of this morning this day this new day from where we are in North America is going to change you what wealth you do have is going to be blessed 100 fold with your obedience to an offering to living the life of obedience to Christ and blessing your ministries this ministry many many ministries in the name of Jesus so let's be come forward in the name of Jesus dear God I admit I am a sinner I need your forgiveness I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place paying the penalty for my sins I am willing right now to turn from my sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Savior and Lord I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life and to fill me and take control and to help me become the, become the kind of person you have always wanted me to be thank you Jesus for loving me thank you Jesus for changing me that is my wife singing in the background I am singing in your name to God and the angels of heaven are singing before the throne of, of God in your name <clears throat> in the matchless name of Jesus we no longer have a yoke of bondage controlling us we may be in charge of a financial institution of journalist a DJ advertising communications everything entertainment but we're going to be a change maker within our industry we're going to be a change maker by being a peacemaker to change this world we can't negotiate peace we cannot negotiate peace but we can pray into peace 
pray into through the Proverbs and prayer and to, and to share in the cup of the wisdom in the name of eternity, in the name of Jesus Christ. Going into this time, going into the realities that we express, going into the endless beautiful truth of God's love. Take it. Go with it. Flow with it. Verses 16 through 22. The labor of the just leads to life. The gain of the wicked is futility. You labor. You work. You express yourself. You work into the name of Jesus. You work through the name of Jesus. You work through the scriptures. You have a life. Your life is no longer controlled by sin. You have a life of love, not a life of wickedness. Not, you're not going astray. You're not going from one circle to another, one confusing thought to another. You have the mind of all clarity. Your heart has been given, is, your own heart's been thrown away it, with your sin into the sea of forgetfulness. We may not be in our lives and our persons as pure or virginal but with that new heart we left ourselves up in the purest of all way for God has blessed us that way Jesus came and died for your sins before your sin was ever even acted out are you with me thank you he came upon the cross speaking the truth and how we get even with our enemies is we love them forgive them, pray for them, fast for them, but move on with our lives. doesn't mean we have to go back out and hang with them. And just because they want to have a lifestyle of their own self, like they think they're gold, but they're not. And we know that. But we have our own careers to think of. We have our, our own selves to think of. And we move forward and onward in the matchless name of Jesus. I had many, 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 many an old friend paid off by Satan's 30 pieces of silver to attempt to stop me, betray me, kill me, assassinate me. But, but God, but God, but God kept me alive. But God, I am here before you. But God, Anita, my wife, is here before you. And the praise report I share with you is that my beautiful wife has lost 70 pounds. 70 pounds. She's an inspiration to the many, to the world, and she's most important an inspiration to her husband, yours truly. Verse 18, whoever conceals hatred has lying lips, and whoever spreads slander is a fool. Where words are many, sin is not wanting, but those who restrain their lips do well. So we are now exercising self-control through wisdom. We have that exercising of the truth. We have the exercising of our faith. We have the exercising of, of going from hope, faith, and love and being expressed and baptized in the Holy Spirit. For when we pray, brethren, we don't use the vain hypocrites, vain repetitions as the hypocrites do. We pray from the heart. Some of the greatest, greatest prayers come from the heart. You don't have to say 100 Hail Marys, 200 Glories, 300 Our Fathers. You go into this time of prayer asking, seeking, knocking. Asking, seeking, knocking. If you believe in your heart what you are saying to the Lord, you shall receive it. I remember, brethren, Answered prayer, answered prayer comes from heaven. So let's use our wisdom through our prayer. The lips, choice silver is the tongue of the just. The heart of the wicked is little worth. So people will see you sometime recently and you're still doing the same old, same old that they were doing years ago. Do they want to hang with you? No, because you haven't changed, you haven't done anything. Now, here's my guarantee. I guarantee this, and you'll hear a little blessed laughter in the background from my wife. I guarantee people will be talking about you if you change yourself with Christ and for Christ. 
You'll be changed when you come forward in the name of Jesus. You'll be people will be uncomfortable. They won't have any know how to relate with you unless they themselves are with Christ. You are peculiar. God, I never knew that I was peculiar. Nobody ever said that to me. But we go into the genuineness of the growth of the Lord Jesus Christ, spreading his living word, whether we're chastised, betrayed, or denied. Here's the beautiful truth. We're going upward and forward. The, the world is ever so confused. We have one part of the world of Syria just killing each other. Government was really spread spread apart in many different personalities of hate. But none of that is wisdom. None of that is wisdom. And that represents anything of the Lord. But the Lord blesses you with the wealth. Wealth of wisdom. The wealth of love. Verse 21 and 22. The lips of the just nourish many, but fools die for want of sense. I don't want anybody listening to this broadcast to die of wanting sense. You should not. Change your life, please. But don't think about it. Don't think about changing it because that's where the dark shadows want to control your thoughts, ideas, and suggestion. That is all the artillery, artillery that Satan has in his trick bag. And verse 22, the lips of the lips it is the Lord's blessing that brings wealth and no effect can substitute for it you want prosperity but most important you must seek first wisdom you must seek first the guidance of his new love his, his truth the, the guidance of the everlasting glory of the Lord Jesus Christ and we lift up in our hearts God Anita and the men, we, we are asking for great financial provisions to help us with our ministry, ministry, to help us with our lives, to provide for those that are in need, and to go forward in the world to be change makers. God's going to bless that prayer. He's not going to walk away from it. But I had to believe it. Anita also, as a union of marriage and a union of ministry, she has to believe that in her heart as well. Or else our steps... It becomes that what they are, steps, and we no longer tread the earth we walk on. But Anita and the man, we do tread the earth we walk on. We tread it, the earth we walk on, and we own it, but in the name of Jesus. But God, but God, we stomp on the heads of scorpions and snakes and Satan. And you have that same authority and ability that can be given to you, digested daily, Read two chapters of Proverbs every day. Get our series that is going to be made available for you very soon online of the Proverbs series, Beatitude series. And we ask you, we ask you to change. We ask you to go and now be a witness to others. God is bringing into you the leadership. God is going to bring you to a new land like what happened to Anita and myself, brought us to Kenya. We educated the masses. We educated the, the pastors who were starving for the living word of God. We were in the slums of Nairobi. Did not get a dime for the trip, but planted God's seed, planted wealth, planted the plan of provisions for that country. And where God has you and I, North America, Europe, England, France, India, we take control of that region in the name of Jesus and we change that region in the name of prayer. God's going to bless pockets of our world as we lift, raise a praise daily for those that, that choose to still live the life away from wisdom but lacking sense that those areas will not be blessed by God. And why do we have earthquakes and, and famines and diver straits? brothers and sisters, because prophecy is coming true. In the matchless name of Jesus, we are living in the end times of end times. We, we bring into you, you, the opportunity to change this world. We are not the only ministry, ministry we want 
in your life. He wants you to get into a physical church, get into the fellowship of the man. I, we do a lot of work, Lord's work over the internet, but there's a personal touch. There's a personal interaction that Anita and the man we just love fellowshipping with the saints. We love being witnesses to others. We go forward in the matchless name of Jesus and we go and pray, pray, pray. This is your beautiful love note that was written for you called the Bible. And we use this and we don't abuse it. We go forward and change and be pray through peace. Pray into the gospel of peace. <clears throat> pray into the unison of the holy glory of peace. The clarity of the minds, the clarity of the truth, the clarity that we no longer take for anything for granted, the clarity that God is going to bring wisdom, the jeweler, to the three rings of royalty that we that we share and wear upon our hearts and our lives, hope, faith, and love, to bring into the harvest of our own lives, our own families, but to share in the knowledge of how we got the harvest, the wisdom. Jesus is coming back, and just pick up the headlines if you don't believe me. We're living in the end times of end times. Don't spoil your own harvest. And I say this again, changing your life to the Lord is not an oath of poverty. It, it is an oath of gain, as an oath of being wealthy. And God is going to bless you financially. First comes your offering of obedience, your offerings of, of tithes and offerings. We ask you to be a financial partner into this ministry. Bless us, You'll come, and your blessing will come back to you 700 fold and to guide us into the realities, your truth, and your love. In the matchless name of Jesus, go out and change the world. Not tomorrow, but today. Go out and change the world into the everlasting truth. You are redeemed. So let's focus on our reality of our redemption with God. We are redeemed. We have, we have defeated the curse of the law, poverty, sickness, and death. The Trump himself, Satan, stomping on the heads and scorpions and singing a song while you're doing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stomping on the head of six and scorpions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on now. Let's go. Let's go. In the matchless name of Jesus, let's pray out. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your time, your endless rhyme, that you bless us with your wisdom, you bless us with your love, you bless us with your time, which is which is always open for us, Lord. Let us get into the practice of prayer. Let us get, up, get into the practice of repenting daily. Receiving you new mercies every day as we thank you for this joy in the morning here in North America. We thank you for the end of the day in parts of the world. We thank you for all the purity and the rest that you give those that are, that are sleeping in Asia. And we thank you for the loving truth. We thank you for the loving glory. In Jesus' name, so be it. Anita and the man, we love you. We hope to see you at 3 p.m. today, followed by 6 p.m. today. We walk by faith and not by sight. We thank you for your time, and until next time, au revoir, adios, good day for the people.